Hi, Airdrop Hunters. Welcome to Airdrop Spot and welcome to today's tutorial. Today's video is going to be the part 2 of Scroll Alpha Testnet tutorial. We did the part 1 a couple of days ago. For those who have seen the part 1, you can simply move on to the part 2 that we are doing today. But for those who haven't seen the part 1 video, you can come to my channel right here. Here is the part 1 video or as you are watching this video, look at the top of your screen, you are going to see a pop-up. Just tap on that pop-up to go back and watch the part 1. Or you can simply check the link to part 1 in the comment section. I'll pin every link that you'll be needing in this tutorial. I'll pin it in the comment section. Having said that, let us continue with today's tutorial. We'll be going to SyncSwap, syncswap.xyz slash swap. First of all, you need to switch your network. You can see your network is on ZK Sync area. So go to your extension tab, open your MetaMask, and in your MetaMask, switch your network to Scroll Alpha Testnet. Now that you are done with that, you can go back to SyncSwap and then connect your wallet. So after connecting your wallet, you can see that your browser is now in Scroll Alpha Testnet. Now we can get started with our task for the day. The first thing we want to do is we want to swap some ETH for USDC. So you are going to indicate the number of ETH that you want to swap to USDC. Then tap on the swap button. Confirm the transaction in your wallet. Transaction successful. The next thing you want to do is you want to swap some ETH for TSUSDC. So you are going to repeat the process again. Indicate the number of ETH you want to swap to TSUSDC. Tap on the swap button and confirm transaction. So we are done with that. The next thing you want to do is you are going to tap on that sidebar menu and you tap on pools. We want to go and add liquidity. So tap on the ETH USDC pair and on the far right of your screen tap on that arrow. Then go to deposit. Make sure that toggle switch is on. And then indicate the number of ETH that you want to add to liquidity. By switching that toggle switch on, it is going to add your liquidity in a balanced proportion. That's 50-50 proportion on both ETH and TSUSDC. So your transaction has been submitted and your transaction is successful. You can check your transaction by going to my position and you can see our ETH and TSUSDC pair. So that will be all for SyncSwap. Next we are going to app.aave.com. You are going to connect your wallet. Choose a, three, choose a MetaMask. Sorry. Go to the sidebar menu and switch your testnet mode on. Then tap on that drop down button and choose scroll alpha so that you can be on the scroll alpha network. Then scroll to the bottom and each of the tokens that you see here you are going to collect them from faucet.
So we are collecting dye from faucet. You are going to do the same thing for EURS. You are going to claim it from faucet. You do the same for USDC. We are claiming all of these tokens from Fawcett because we'll be needing them in the next step. So you are going to repeat the same for USDT. Do the same for AAV, Chainlink and Wrapped BTC. So now that we are done claiming tokens from Fawcett, go to the sidebar menu and tap on Markets. We want to supply and we want to borrow tokens on AAV. So there are a list of different assets here. The first one is DAI. Tap on View Details and switch to your Info tab. Then tap on Supply. Then out of the tokens that you claim from Fawcett now, supply some of it. I'll be supplying 2000. Then approve DAI to continue. Sign and tap on Supply DAI. So transaction successful, after supplying that you can choose to add it to wallet and you can choose to ignore. So the next thing you want to do is you tap on borrow, after supplying you will borrow. Then indicate the number of tokens you would like to borrow, I will borrow 1000. Then confirm the transaction in your wallet. Transaction successful. We'll go back to the list of assets and then we are going to do the same for the next asset which is EURS. Tap on view details, switch to your info tab, tap on supply, indicate the number of tokens you want to supply, tap on approve to continue, Con sign in it in your wallet, confirm. Then tap on borrow and borrow some tokens. Tap on the checkbox here, I acknowledge the risk involved. Then borrow EURS. Confirm in your wallet. Then go back and repeat the process for the remaining assets that we have here. I don't want to be doing everything one by one so that I won't waste our time. Do the same for USDC, Theta, AAV, Chainlink and Wrapped BTC and Ethereum.
So when you are done with that, the last website to be interacting with is Izumi. I will leave the link in the comment section. Connect your wallet with Izumi. So the first thing you want to do in Izumi on Izumi is you want to swap some ETH for USDC. But make sure your network is on scroll alpha testnet because that is what we are using. Indicate the number of ETH you want to swap for USDC. Then tap on the swap button. Confirm the transaction. Then switch to the liquidity tab. Tap on top pools. We are going to be choosing the USDC and wrapped ETH pair. Select add liquidity. So indicate the number of USDC you want to add to the liquidity pool. If you tap on ETH, it will automatically bring the appropriate number of ETH that you need. Then tap on approve USDC. Enter the number of USDC again. I used 30,000 USDC. You can see the status of your transaction at the bottom of your screen right there. So our transaction is successful and that is all for Scroll Alpha Testnet. If you have found value in my content, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Give me a like and if you have questions, drop me a comment.